Hey there, all you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol, and we're gonna pull out what the new cool cat activity for the uh, day for the episode here is. Oh, my party's on the screen. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. Spoilers. Uh, we have <coughs> single leg deadlifts. For all you cool cats and kittens out there, that is the exercise for today's episode. Last episode! It's a good thing I have dumbbells. <laughs> if uh, need be, I can do that. But last episode, uh, we made it here to Southerly City and took on Kato, but we were not shooketh <coughs> uh, in our foundation. We made it through all four episodes. Uh, of last session without losing any mons and hopefully we can continue that pattern today uh, I know everybody is out there uh, in quarantine right now stay home stay safe be smart um, and everybody wants exercises and things to do it's like you can still do the fit lock exercises um, you can put together a little workout of your own that's the idea of the fit lock is like uh, it's like an introduction to exercising and working out for those of you who may not be into exercising or working out or may not know where to start or anything like that so you know hopefully the idea is along the way or towards the end you can piece together little things to do on your own and make your own little workouts but I understand those of you guys that want to play along and do the workouts as well it's cool we got single leg deadlifts uh, on the bill for today We're supposed to head to the Espo Forest uh, we snagged a mall while there last time and the squad I was debating swapping some people off like Francine last time but I think I'm just gonna stick with who we have for now and filling gaps as needed hopefully we have no gaps but filling gaps as needed so we shall see what ends up happening why was I standing on the one oh there's another one I was like why was I standing on the one spot that had a little green spot did my dude leave that behind that's disgusting. That's disgusting. That's very, very nasty, my boy. You have to clean up after yourself. Excuse me. Uh, so I just very recently finished the show Weeds again for like the 45th time. <laughs> uh, maybe not the 45th time. I think I probably started it like eight times. Uh, but I've only made it all the way through maybe twice. Maybe eight times. My boy Roger. Is this something that you can handle? You are five levels above this trevenant, this tree. Anyway, he's only finished it like two, maybe three times. Um, but it's a very, very good series. I highly recommend you watching it. And if I don't want to spoil anything. All I'm gonna say is it's it's widely known for having a very good ending. <clears throat> Not like I don't want to spoil anything. It's just the show's very well rounded all the way around. Uh, so if you haven't watched it and if you're at home, nothing to do. It's eight seasons, 30 minute episodes. I think most seasons have like 13 episodes or something like that. It's a really good show. I highly recommend you check it out. Boom! Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, Espo Forest! That was just like a pin in the back of my head all day because I knew that I was going to sit down and record and I was like. Because <clears throat> I posted a whole bunch of docuseries um, that people could check out that I was watching, that I was into. Is this slow bro gonna know a ice type move, bro? What are you going for here, big dog? I'm gonna go out to Lester and see what's happening. Oh, we're slacking off. We're slacking off. I'm gonna test the water soon. Okay, that doesn't really matter to me, bro. I just want to see what your move set was, but we got a crit. <laughs> I just want to see what your move set was, bro. I told y'all, I'm not trying to be doing no un unnecessary extra, etc., etc., etc. Hey, I've been out hiking every single day. I had a 20 mile bike ride. 
earlier today, bro, <clears throat> I am thoroughly enjoying the outdoors. The Slow King, we can handle that too. And it has left me very sore. Uh, very recently, I mentioned this as well, um, I just scooped up a yoga mat and I got in the yoga and I'm moving and shaking and stretching. And even when you think you're flexible, <laughs> there is some other position or some other pose or some other something that you have to do that requires so much more fucking flexibility out of you. <sighs> Blows your mind sometimes. But I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. There's a lot of um, uh, continuous muscle tension. Oh, guess I'm going the right way. Blake over here cut me off. Oh, it's you, Nappy. Come here. I want to tell you something. Now I got a thing in my head to go back and check out that other path. This shrine was built long ago in order to provide offerings to Mew, who is believed to live here. It's so relaxing and peaceful here. If I were Mew, I'd live here too. Earlier today, I challenged the previous champion, Grey, and defeated him, which means I'm the new champion. Whoa. Damn, bro. Congrats. They couldn't even, like, our character speaks in this game. You couldn't even put us saying congratulations in the game? Maybe we're just supposed to assume that the da 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 is like, hey, congrats, he thanks, haha, all of that. Now that I'm champion, I have more duties than ever before. I'm worried I won't be able to deal with a trouble like Team Fusion anymore. Did you feel that? It's happening again, isn't it? It's the future I can see. <laughs> what? Holy shit! Blake, Navi, it's good to see you again. You act like you expected us. The odds you'd meet us in two different places are incredibly large. It's well, as far as I can tell, I can feel disturbances in the fabric of space time. Anyone can, really, if you focus enough. But I have to tell you something important. I was doing research about anything that could link the Pokemon world with this one, and I stumbled on something. About 50 years ago, a newspaper article was printed about. No, the portal is about to suck you back. The article said that a pink. You know, like, ever since the start of this playthrough, like, I know I've, like, constantly changed up his voice and whatnot. I think it's because I never gave him anything that really fit him. But, like, that interaction just now. That's not the voice that I want to do for him. But that interaction just now. It finally dawned on me who this person is. <laughs> this dude, Luke, in the real world, he's like a UFO, like, theorist. Or at least that's how I'm interpreting it. You know, this, this my Pokemon game. Okay, you can't tell me <laughs> what it's supposed to be, okay? So, to me, it's like there's nobody else in his world that believes him. So he's like, bro, man. If you believe hard enough, bro, we can slip between realities and Pokemon are real. Like, that's the vibe I'm getting off of him finally, because, like, Blake just asked him, like, how? What are the odds that you would be expecting us? You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just my problem. There's no time to lose. We can't wait for you to get your seventh badge. We have to go to the Temporal Tower now. I have a hunch we'll find what we need there. But first... Hey, thanks. I'm sorry to drag you into this again, but two people can do the work of one much easier. Hunch Girl, use Fly. Blake's voice I know has slipped back and forth. It's because I always want, like, the champion or, like, the big badass trainer of the region to be, like, Lance. But, I don't know. It'll be slippy slidey. It'll be some type of Pokemon trainer type thing. Hmm, seems quiet, but I better check it. So he said a pink something. Wait, where the fuck am I? Is this a new area?
We are at Temporal Tower. That's the area that we're at. Is there anything inside the Temporal Tower that we would interfere with? <laughs> Me and Pikachu are saying the exact same thing to each other. <laughs> God damn it! I just didn't want Temporal Tower, like, inside to be the same location as Temporal Tower outside, and I go out here and catch a fucking polywag, and then inside there's, like, Greninja's running around or some shit, I don't know. It's you, damn it! How do you keep finding us? Am I doomed to have my wounds ripped open every single beeping day? It's time to crush you, fucker! And, like, oh, he jumps off the ground as he says that. Let's do it, Pikachu. Let's do it, Pikachu. Let's do it, Pikachu. Not like this. Not like this. Icicle Crash Pikachu? All I have is m m m m m m mud! Oh, he missed! Mud shot! Wait, I'm five levels above this Pikachu. Fuck you, dog. Don't hit me with shit. Do I outspeed you now that your speed fell? <laughs> Keep your earthquake. I'm good with mud shot. But no, for real. Hey, when. <clears throat> 45, like. Where's earthquake at, bro? I feel like it should be any day now, any minute now. Well, crap. I got beat again by the freaking kid who kicked me out of my home. How is that fair? That's right, it isn't. I'm gonna tell the rest of Team Fusion that you've arrived. That's not fair. That's not far either, is it? Too bad! <laughs> See you never. Let's put my Pokemon. Heal him up. Okay, so Temporal Tower outside. Temporal Tower inside. It's the same area. Okay, so I'm gonna mosey around in here a little bit. And see what's moving and shaking. And maybe if there's an encounter, we'll scoop it up. If not, like by the time I get to like the third fusion run, you don't see anything, then I'll head back out and snag something else. But. Didn't Blake come through already? Shouldn't I just be able to, like. I'm with him. Like. Anyways, this music is too pleasant for this encounter. <laughs> Never underestimate the fusion grunt. Let's do it, bro. Or, ma'am. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Didn't mean to. Um, we still do not have. <clears throat> I was supposed to go back and get seed bomb on somebody. Mm. I'll start writing things down. We still don't have air slash on Roger yet, though. Hmm. What's up with that, Raj? What's up with that, Raj? What's up with that? Are we rocking knockoff? Are we that type of, uh, girder? Girder? Are we rocking knockoff? Should I go out to chorus? Is that safe for me to do? Um, because I feel like at one point in time, I've used a girder or a conch elder, and I feel like get like rock slide stone edge by level up now of course this is a fan game but I believe those moves still exist and if we were to be hit by one of those I would be are we really still rocking in door bro what game am I preparing for <laughs> I'm reaching into the deep recesses of oh, my, 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 the Dexter in my head for things that just don't exist. What's going on? I know they do get those moves by level up, so fuck that bullshit. If we had Air Slash on Roger, then it'd be a problem. Just waltz right through here. Um, <clears throat> let's leave with Horus for a wee bit. Just someone that's not as... Not as fragile. I don't know. I don't know, I just feel better. I just 
just feel better about it. Damn it, now I'm burned. Fuck. Nasty plot. Why would you do this to me? No, you can't learn nasty plot, man. Come on, horse. Get your mind right. Get your mind right, bro. The memoir. The memoir. No memoir. No memoir. Bro, chill. I know I've had... You know, when I walked in here, I really don't know what the fuck I expected. <sighs> I should've just gotten the encounter outside. What the... I really don't know what the fuck I was expecting. This Pokemon is shaped like ancient text characters. Although research is ongoing, it is a mystery as to which came first, the ancient writings or the various unknown. I mean... That's like which came first, chicken or the egg. Because you can't have a written alphabet without a source unless someone just made it up. But then does that mean that the unknown just were just <laughs> decided to come into existence one day and emulate this written text? Or was the written text done by a scene from the unknown? Like someone saw the unknown and wrote it down. See, the chicken with the egg I think I mentioned this book earlier. Um, I think I'm gonna name this guy, by the way. Boom. It's my boy Stevens. I'm not mad about the unknown. You know what? Onyx worked out for me. I'm not mad about the unknown. Technically, it did not work out for me. Oh, there's golets in this bitch? Okay, now wait a minute. Now I do have a problem with the motherfucking unknown. Wait a- Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> if the only thing that was in here was unknowns, then I wouldn't have had that much of a problem. But now you're telling me there's other things in here that I could have gotten? Is it just the golet? Is that like a once of the- Like a 1% chance encounter? I just happen to get it to rub salt in the wound on the way out? Ain't that some shit? What's in the motherfucking water, dog? Oh, I would have been even more pissed. Never mind. A tentacle I wouldn't have mind using. I really wouldn't have mind using. Wait a minute, where was I at just now? Temple Sea. Oh. Okay. The game is changing. Literally. The game is changing. Literally. Do I not have a fucking map? Like, is it only at the Pokemon Community Center? I got a fucking bike! <laughs> Y'all try to go somewhere? <laughs> okay, I just want to know where the Temporal Sea was at. But I mean, I guess that's a new encounter too! Hey, fuck it, let's get it! Temporal Sea! Fuck! Oh my god! Dog, can I just have a Golet now? Can I have a Mercy Golet? What the fuck is this? Temporal C! Okay, let's get it! <laughs> Bro! A series of unfortunate events indeed. It makes its nest on a sheer cliff at the edge of the sea. It has trouble keeping its wings flapping in flight. Instead, it soars on updrafts. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Anyways, this bird here reminds me of the topic I was about to talk about before this golet just consumed me <laughs> uh, was the whole chicken and the egg. I think it was like episode one or something like that. I talked about that book, How to Invent Everything, written by Ryan North. 
I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> I remember about that one book. How to invent everything by Ryan Noy. I don't know. Um, what am I naming this dude? I feel like if a Wingle spoke, he would sound like Oscar from The Office. Um, but How to Invent Everything by Ryan North, they spoke about what came first, the chicken or the egg. And I thought, hmm, this is a very interesting topic. How are you going to tackle this? What are you talking about? And I feel like it's kind of a cop-out, but, like, if you think about it, it's technically right, I guess. I don't know. I haven't really heard a very good, like, aha uh -huh about it. But it's like, well, eventually... I think they said that the egg came first because at one point in time during the species of evolution species of evolution <laughs> during the species evolution of chicken whatever the previous version of what we now know as like a modern day chicken at one point in time they laid the egg that contained like the zygote or like whatever little gene difference was that would then allow that egg to hatch into what we now know as chicken so I think I think I paraphrased that correctly <clears throat> but I thought well I mean technically that's not wrong I don't know if that's like the correct answer to it or not but technically it isn't wrong it does make sense so I don't know I guess it depends on what you classify as a chicken are we talking in the literal sense of like a modern day chicken or just like as far back as we can like recognize chicken you know what I mean before it turns into a velociraptor <laughs> this is incredible I've heard rumors that the Temporal Tower has the entirety of history written on its walls, but I never believed it to be true, as I suspected Team Fusion is here, and you're well aware. I assume the more recent history is near the top of the tower, so I better head up that way. Okay, I wouldn't have been upset with a... I don't know what's happening. These thugs barged in here and told me I couldn't leave. You're going to make them leave? Oh, happy day. Here, let me heal your Pokemon for you. Good luck. Shut the fuck up, you, bro. I really do appreciate it, bro. Oh! Um, what I was gonna say, I really wouldn't have minded snagging a tentacle just now. Ooh, twist that spoon. Hmm. Rats. No psychic type that can take advantage of that nifty item I just found in this dungeon. Um, but I wouldn't have minded a tentacle. I wouldn't mind using a tentacruel. Um, of course, that's on the off chance that anything were to happen to old Lester here. Oh, fuck, why did I do that? I think I just swapped out to him because I thought about him. But I need to train up everyone else that isn't Lester, because Lester's out here just... Big dickin'. See, like, right now, I want to go out to Lester. <laughs> Is that so wrong to want to go out to Lester right now? My ground type when an electric type's on the field. Fuck off, Golet! We've thoroughly established how fucked it is that you exist. If I fail at this, I'll get my pain dodged. Oh, bro. Wait a minute. Triple kicking. Ah! Ah! Why are we triple kicking? Of course. Let's not crit. We can do this without. Ah! He does have count. Oh. Wait, no! Poison jab should kill! Okay, okay, from there, poison jab should kill. Okay, I was worried about like clicking poison jab and then doing like 40% him clicking counter or getting crit. 
and it doing like 80% and him clicking counter. I just know him on top is a, <laughs> as they described Cheddar, a thick king. And I wasn't trying to get fucked up, that's all. Mmm. Everybody's gotta save their water bottles now. Mm. Now I'm drinking out of cups. Excuse me. Pardon. I have to get through here because the now champion has asked me to. And all these numbers, like, how, how, how do unknown exist? Are they just like free flowing, like in the room around you or something? Are they just like asleep, like deactivated, just like scattered on the floor, and like you can just like walk through them and just kick them up like leaves, and then boom, they activate or some shit? Like, <laughs> it's a dead end. Boris, can you tank this? Bro, bro is, bro, bro, bro is. See, look, a fucking motherfucking Lester works for everything, dog. No matter who comes out, you need to send out a Venusaur. That's the only thing that's stopping Lester at this point, and we even got through a Venusaur, a Cloister. If he didn't have that nifty ice typing. If he didn't have that nifty ice typing, I could send out my grass type and just. Sh 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 sh. Oh, my boy's downstairs. Don't worry, we have the medication. We can make it work. But I think, for right now, we're gonna wrap up today's episode. We have made it through yet another episode. No deaths. <clears throat> Very happy about that. And we will continue our exploration of Temporal Tower next time. I don't know. We're at a dead end. I'm guessing that I'm going to jump through this hole and speak to Giratina. Who knows? Thank you so much for your love and your loyalty. I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, I'm out this bitch. Bye!